Hey you guys, it's Lacey. So I'm bringing you another house building video today. This house is called Urban Living and I think it's really cute. Um, I just sort of like came up with this idea of building like kind of like a just like square, very plain looking house, but that also had like very neat characteristics about it. Because <clears throat> you guys will know from like most of my house building videos uh, I don't usually build just like very plainly shaped houses I usually have a lot of like crazy shapes going on um, but yeah this one is just sort of like for the most part it's just like a big like rectangle to be honest I mean let's be real here it's a rectangle um, with uh, basically some a lot of balconies and stuff off of it so it was not hard. Um, I wanted it to be like a, oh, how would I describe it? Like, kind of like a very like narrow house, like narrow and just with a little bit longer, if that makes any sense. I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted it to be very kind of like it's it fit in on a very small lot but it's a family home on a small lot so yeah I don't know anyway uh, so yeah I'm just building this is the front entrance to the house right here it is actually on the what you would call the second floor this is what I would call the second floor um, the ground level is where the garage is and then this is technically the first floor and this is the second floor that I'm just putting on well just a few seconds ago and um, I'm going to have balconies off of each floor off of the back uh, off the back of the house um, and I do the layout pretty much immediately after building the house um, or you know as I'm building the house pretty much so uh, yeah, and I decided to put some balconies there because I'm like, nah, I think I want some balconies there. I just think it looks a lot better. And plus, I wanted pretty much like every bedroom to have an accessible balcony in this house. Why? I don't know. I just did. Uh, but every bedroom, there's uh, four total bedrooms. There is a master bedroom, a teen girl, a teen boy, and then a guest bedroom down on the ground floor aka basement level I mean whatever you want to call it the ground floor it's the floor on the ground and then uh, that's the guest bedroom in on the ground floor so and all the other bedrooms are on the second floor or if you're going by the sims it'd be on the third floor I guess but I don't know it's confusing but it's on the top floor let's just put it that way um, I really like what I did with this house. I think it looks very like a house that you would see in the city or something. Um, like maybe New York or um, just like any sort of urban area. I don't know. I just, I thought it looked that way. It looks like kind of like uh, maybe it could have been something else, but maybe it was converted into a house or something. I don't even know. I just think that I really like the idea that I had with this build. I think it looks really good. And, I mean, it, it is sort of plain if you think, like, not having, like, super crazy of a shape or anything, but, I don't know. Yeah, I like it. Um, and the windows are very, like, I did the windows a bit differently in this house. Like, normally I have everything very symmetrical, which, in a way, it is very symmetrical. But also, it's kind of, like not in a way because like on the as you can see here on the sides of the house I don't put very many windows at all I put a few windows that's it and for the most part for the most part all like the majority of the windows on this build are in the front and in the back of the house so I don't know why I did it that way I just did and plus with the layout and everything I kind of had to so and this is where I decided to change all the colors of uh, all of the pillars here to a slightly darker color just so that it matches a little bit better with everything I guess I don't know um, and then I'm going to this right here is the garage 
Oh my gosh, I feel like I need to sneeze. And now I'm moving along real fast. This is the main living section to the house. And then these are all the bedrooms upstairs in the top floor. <clears throat> this is the garage. Um, there's an entrance through the garage. Obviously, you can't get through that because it's just a fake garage. So you can't. your sims can't actually enter in through there. Um, but it's just for the looks of it, you know, so. So whatever. Uh, this is the kitchen living room area. Uh, there's a small sitting room and a dining room on this floor and a small bathroom. And then this floor has the two bedrooms that are exactly alike on either side. And they both have a Jack and Jill bathroom. They're both connected to this bathroom uh, towards the front of the house there. And yeah, and this house, um, I'm going to start on the gardening right now, which is very simple, very plain, because if this was a house just like, you know, like in the city somewhere, like with houses like on all sides of it, you know, like super close together, um, there it's not going to have very intricate, very like crazy gardening, you know, it's, it's not going to, so. So I kept it very simple, um, very kind of more realistic you know and I like how I use this like uh, sort of like super small lot to put it on because I think it works out real well and you guys will be happy to know that there is not a pool in this build I know some of you were saying that I was building I was putting pools in like every single one of my houses which I yeah I admit I was uh, but look at that this one doesn't so there you go but yeah, I think this house is very realistic. I think that it is a house that you would totally see just driving down like a, a uh, if I can talk, a street like in the city somewhere. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what area I'm thinking of that has that would have houses that looks like this. But I don't. I can't think of it. But I definitely have an image in my head of it being like a more more populated area with houses like very close together on very thin lots and you know there's not much room on either sides of the houses but but you might have a small backyard you know I don't know that's just what I was picturing in my head I don't know why but um, this down here on the ground floor is the game gaming entertainment area whatever you want to call it um, it's basically just a little party area where you can have little parties and stuff. There is a TV, and I do put a couch on this other side so you can sit down and watch a movies or whatever. And there's also that uh, card table there so you can play cards with your friends. And there's a bar there, you know, so you can have a little party there in your little game slash entertainment room. And then if any of your party guests would like to stay the night this is the guest room on the ground level very far away from all of the other bedrooms which I think is very uh, convenient for any sort of guest you would have I would think that if you had a guest at your house especially for more than like one night let's say they were there for like a weekend or something like they would want their privacy too you know so this is ideal for a guest to have their privacy and they do have their own small bathroom and I actually did give them their own computer although it's the cheapest computer um, they do get a computer just so they can keep themselves busy and I put a little bookshelf in there which I don't think your sim will be able to get the books on there but oh well there's another book there's more bookshelves in this house so so this is the guest bathroom right here very small very plain nothing too special about it um, and I actually do the same exact thing that I did in that bathroom in the bathroom on the next level up which is another just small bathroom that's right next to the uh, right next to the living room so yeah um, this is the office um, it is on the ground floor too. It's right next to the garage. You can see there. Uh, it's basically just like a worker, like maybe the dad of the house. He wanted, he converted this room to an office or something. You know, I don't know. 
because he needed space to work. I put a couple little skill building things in there like an art easel and um, a guitar and I put a couch in there just to sit and relax and a bookshelf so you can read. Uh, so I mean it's got pretty much everything you're going to need in there for not everything but it's got quite a few things in there for skill building. So. Uh, this is the kitchen, which uh, is was a very sort of like uh, skinny shape, um, so I think it ends up being really nice in the end though and very realistic, so yeah, I really like it. And this is the, uh, the center island, and over here is basically just like your sink area and then right across is the stove I mean everything is right very accessible within just a few feet of each other so I mean it is a pretty small kitchen it's very thin but it kind of had to be in this house you know so but it still has that openness to it to where it sort of seems bigger than it is because it's so open in in this part of the house so this is the family room slash living room, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just the general living area for the house. Um, I use very like calm colors in here, like these this real like light blue color. Um, so I it mostly is like blue and tan in uh, this living room. Um, not too cluttered in here, but very you know very. I kept things as neutral as I could to make it like to where a guy or a girl could move in but obviously it's a family home but if you wanted to start out and live in this house like you could have a male or a female sim um, so yeah I don't know this is the dining room slash breakfast room whatever you want to call it but um, I would call it a formal dining room, but really, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, this is just a little sitting room where I have so, uh, another bookshelf, which there's plenty of bookshelves in this house, like I said. Um, some chairs over here to sit in front of the window and read. Um, and then I think on this side, I think I just put another little chair, not the same one. I know I changed that to something else and then that plant and I'm pretty sure that's all I put in there there was just not enough room to really put too much more in there to be honest and um, I think did I do that bathroom oh yeah I forgot to put the uh, flooring on all of the patios outside so um, so I guess did I do that bathroom did I just miss that I looked down at my hair for a minute I was messing with my hair Anyway, um, this is the master bedroom. Uh, the colors in here are more uh, sort of like a tan, tannish, brownish, and red. Um, I really love what I did with the mirrors around that window right there. I just think it looks really, really neat. I don't know why. It just looks neat to me. Um, again, very red, very, uh, very red and brown, I guess you could say. But I think the colors work well together. Um, over here I put a small dresser, well, a tall dresser, but smaller, I, I don't know. And then I put a TV on there so while your sims are in their bedroom they can watch TV. Over in this area I put a vanity table for your missus to put on her makeup and get ready for her day, that sort of thing. I like that and uh, yeah and this is the master bathroom uh, I really love this bathroom um, basically I just put these uh, not these countertops like right up against either side to make it look like it was like sort of built in like it was all sort of like one unit or something and I really like that I really think it looks good um, then I put, this is the hers sink, and then his sink is on the other side. It's the smaller one, of course. That one right there. So yes, it's the smaller one, but, you know, whatever. Uh, and then I put more mirrors over the tub. 
and I really love that bathroom. I don't know why. I just think it looks really good. Here is the walk-in closet where there is a dresser that is accessible and you know some more decorations and stuff in there for just general closet feel. This is the teenage boys room. It The colors in here are a real light blue and black so blue and black. Uh, I really love this teenage boys room and I sort of took a lot of, of what I did in this boys room and sort of like integrated it into the girls room uh, just different colors basically and a few you know a few different things here and there and whatnot but but it, they are very similar rooms just different colors um, over here I just put a few little decorations and on this wall I believe I just put some yeah basic stuff over there um, and then the closet is accessible you you can get in there to get to that dresser to change your clothes and change your appearance or whatever put some men's cologne in there for him and yeah uh, this is the teenage girls room uh, colors in here are uh, red and black and I was trying to do some cute little things with the mirrors above her bed which that is what I end up doing right there with some light built-in lights like the lights are built into the mirror itself like it's all one you one mirror with the lights built into it but I was going to put like some curtains or something on it but it just didn't work out that way um, and then I use this desk right here because it matches with the bedside tables. Again, very red and black in here, and it is kind of a smaller room, so I was going to put a chair somewhere in there, but I really didn't have any room for a chair anywhere. So here is her walk in closet. And then um, in decorating the bathroom in here. I sort of decided that I wanted to stick with the theme of the teenage girls room just a little bit and make it sort of like you know chic I guess is how you would say say it I don't know um, I gave them each their own sink as you can see and on this side is going to be a shower the colors in here are black pretty much just black and I think yeah black and white pretty much but I stuck with the whole like theme from the girls room I kind of brought it into the bathroom just a little bit uh, just a little bit you know I don't know anyways um, we're coming up to the screenshots very soon I really hope you guys like this build please give me a like and please give me a comment let me know what you think of it thank you so much for watching thank you thank you thank you you guys have a great day, okay? Bye.